Defined as the policy of extending a nation's authority by territorial acquisition or by the establishment of economical and political control over other nations, imperialism was first introduced in the 15th century, but mostly took place in the 19th. Huge progresses were made in many different sectors, such as in literature, art, and technology, and virtually brought the entire globe under its control. North American and European countries were determined to build and expand their empires, pushing them to do whatever it took to implement their authority. The gunboat diplomacy refers to a political scheme or strategy that threatens the use of military force, whether it is implicit or explicit, and is mostly displayed through naval force. The term comes from the 19th century's imperialism, where the Western powers, the Europe and the US, would intimidate other less powerful states into granting concessions to a demonstration of their superior military capabilities depicted by their naval assets. The simple sightseeing of these boats by the negotiated countries almost always had a considerable effect, and it was rarely necessary for such boats to use other measures such as demonstrations of firepower. Throughout time, many countries such as the United States, Great Britain, and Russia have used this strategy. The United States' first use of this policy came under President Theodore Roosevelt's administration. Roosevelt has fought in the Spanish-American Wars of, of 1898 and wanted strong American influence in the Caribbeans and the Northern American island countries. Because of this, the U.S. increased its naval firepower production by threefold and was soon a threat to the island nations. Between 1905 and 1907, the United States used gunboat diplomacy in order to have access to the Dominican Republic. The use of the policy together with the deployment of marine troops gave the United States huge tactical, political, geographical, and economical advantage and it exempted them from the massive costs of war or running an overseas colony. As for other nations, there have been various examples of the use of gunboat diplomacy throughout history. Such examples include the use of the strategy by the French in the franco siamese War of 1893, Anglo-Zanbizar War of 1896, and the Agadir Crisis of 1911. Countries use this strategy so they can gain influence over other nations. Political, geographical, economical, and charismatic advantage is what the countries that use gunboat diplomacy seek. Moreover, this threat can be implicit as the case of opening of Japan's ports by the Commodore Perry or explicit and direct use of the military, such as the U.S. intervention in Dominican Republic in 1905. Gunboat diplomacy shook many countries. It created an initial shock and fear, followed by reflection and confusion, and a sense of what direction to take. Many countries took different paths and ended with different results. Gunboat diplomacy also had its positive effects. Experiencing gunboat diplomacy led to reflection on the weakness of their country, not just in political will, but technologically too. Modern weapons made gunboat diplomacy by the West effective and the only way to resist it was to become modern as well. As a result, modernization became a focus. Their success only determined by how willing and strong their leaders to break conservative conception. Gunboat diplomacy also had relations with the rise of nationalism. Nationalism meant to defend a people's interests, welfare and independence from foreigners. Thus, with humiliation inflicted by gunboat diplomacy, nationalism spread, leading them either to resistance or to modernize, be strong to defend themselves from foreign incursions. To conclude, gunboat diplomacy served as an instrument to several countries to expand their influence and in colonial empires under the guise of spreading civilization. Today, gunboat diplomacy maintains maintained its potency in a modern form. Instead of battleships, major powers exercise their military influence through the use of aircraft carriers, nuclear submarines, and destroyers armed with guided missiles.